Okay, so this is a video about how to use the Flare 500 Digital R Projector by Artograph. So I have a brand new unit here. Uh, first, just unbox it. Take this plastic wrap off. Unbox it. So it comes with a nice carrying case that contains all the contents. So we've got an HDMI cord, the full user manual, the quick start guide, which this video basically follows the steps on the quick start guide, the adapter. the remote, batteries for the remote, and then a USB with some content preloaded on it. Okay, to get started, uh, you wanna turn on their projector by pushing this button. Um, it's important to note that uh, you can't turn the projector on with this button on the remote, uh, but you can turn it off. Uh, so you have to push this button to turn it on. You hold it. You can start hearing the engine. You'll see a light and you'll see that it's projecting onto the screen. So you know it's on. Um, if it's not turning on, uh, it could be that the battery is dead. No problem. Uh, just go ahead and recharge it. Um, way to do that is just to plug in the USB-C power source. That's this adapter cord here USB-C plug it into this insert or this port on the right it's plugged in So you can use the projector while it's plugged in, or you can use it on battery power only. Uh, once it's booted up, uh, you will see the screen projected onto your service in front of you. Um, you might need to scroll through it. Go ahead and make it focused. I'm actually going to adjust the size of the image so that it fits my screen size a little bit better. So to show you how I do that, um, when the projector first starts up, you're going to see this uh, main menu displayed. And then if you want to change the projection, uh, go to settings and then projection and then screen zoom. And then you can change the size of the image. And that's just depending on the canvas that you're projecting on or the surface that you're projecting on, the wall that you're projecting on. So that's good for us. Now I'll go back to the main menu. Okay, so this is the main menu. Once you're here, at this point, you would probably want to project an image. So first way I'm gonna show you how to do that is by using the USB that we provide. So you wanna plug it in uh, to the USB on the left. Once you've done that, you will go to picture. Uh, then you go to sample images. I should say that I'm going to sample images because um, I haven't loaded any of my own content. If you've loaded your own content, then 
your content that you loaded will appear here. So I'm uh, selecting a sample image to show you how to select a picture. Um, if you really want to see uh, the picture, um, you know, in the best quality, you probably want to turn off the lights. So with the lights off, the picture is obviously a lot easier to see. You don't need all the lights off. You could have um, some ambient light uh, so you're not in total darkness, but obviously the darker the room, the more brilliant the image. Okay, so at this point, um, you might want to display the grids uh, that we programmed onto the projector. Easiest way to do that is by pushing this grid button that pulls up the dialog box in the right hand corner. You can't really see it on video, but it says off. So indicating that there are no grids being displayed right now. Um, to scroll through your grids, you just use the arrow key on the remote. Uh, it's hard to see the grids when the lights are on. So with the lights off, we can go ahead and scroll through the grids. And you can see that we have given you three colors of each unique grid. So you have black, green, and white. That way, no matter what your image is, um, you're likely to find a grid that shows up. So once you found the grid that you want, and you want to remove the dialog box in the top, you just push this return button. That removes the dialog box. Um, and you're good to go. Okay, so if you want to project a video, uh, you have to select a different icon at the main menu. Um, so we just selected picture right here at the top to display a picture. Now we're going to click on video uh, to display a video. So plug in your USB again. Click video, click USB. I've loaded a video here onto the USB, so I'm gonna push play. And there's my video. Pretty easy. You can add the grids to a video as well. And that's how you display a video. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to screen share wirelessly uh, using an iOS or Apple device. Uh, so the most important part on the first step is to um, link your projector with the same Wi-Fi that your mobile device is using. So the way you do that is you go to settings, you go to networking, you click, you click Wi-Fi settings, and then you find the Wi-Fi that you want to access. So once you put in your password, go ahead and click link. And now you're connected to Wi-Fi. So once your iOS device is connected to the same Wi-Fi that the projector is connected to, uh, then it's super easy. Uh, you just drag down the upper right corner. You find the screen mirror widget. In this case, on this phone, it's right here. And then immediately you'll see uh, the Flare 500 uh, info pop up. You click it. And now everything that is being displayed on your phone will automatically display on the projector. So if we turn off the lights, it'll be a little bit more clear, but again, this works for all iOS devices. So you can scroll through apps, you know, you can go to Instagram. If you see a picture or something that you want to uh, trace on Instagram, it's easy to connect it to the projector and then 
go ahead and uh, project that onto a canvas or something. Okay, so to connect to the projector with an Android device, it's a little bit different. Um, first step is you need to uh, go to the Google Play Store and you need to download this app. So all I did was up here at the search, I typed in eShare, as you can see right here, and then you would go ahead and download this app. I've already downloaded it, uh, which is why it says update as opposed to download. But if you go ahead and click that button and download this app, uh, that's the first step. Okay, so once you've downloaded the app, go ahead and open it. And if you're on the same Wi-Fi as the projector, the projector, go ahead and allow, the projector uh, will appear right here in the device list. Go ahead and click on it, as I'm doing here. So now everything that's on the phone is being projected onto the projector screen. Okay, so now we are going to talk about some useful features and settings. Um, so to see what sort of settings uh, you have to work with, click on the settings in the main menu. Um, then you have networking, Bluetooth, language, that changes the language. You have other settings, about us, date and time, projection. So we've already talked about networking. This is where you connect to Wi-Fi or a hotspot. Bluetooth, um, this is where you would select a device to pair with. Um, so if you wanted to link your phone uh, sound to the projector uh, you could do that this way and you could also connect the projector to a speaker this way if you want to change the language on your projector uh, just go to language settings and you have a lot of different languages to choose from Some other settings here, um, really it's just a factory reset. Um, do not recommend doing this because you would lose all the artograph specific tools that we program onto the projector. Projection settings, uh, there's a lot of them. Um, talked about the screen zoom a little bit at the beginning of this video, uh, but to go over it again, you can change the size of your screen without moving the projector super convenient projection mode um, this is if you want to mount it onto a ceiling um, depending on the angle uh, and whether it's upside down or not you would want to reposition the uh, projection angle so that you get a different perspective but we are going to change it back to regular. Keystone, this is a super helpful setting. Um, we have auto keystone on, which means that when I go back to keystone, we have auto keystone on, which means when I move the angle of the projector, Kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you can see that it corrects the image so that it's flat. So that auto key zoning is super helpful. Um, if you want to take that off, you would do that, and then now you have access to adjust the keystone manually. So if you wanted to do that, uh, you would click that, and then you can be even more specific uh, than auto keystone. So you can drag an image. Uh, this is super helpful um, in the event that you're projecting from a kind of a strange angle, but you still want a head-on flat image. Uh, you could use this setting to correct for a lot of uh, 
image imperfections. Or if you wanted to drag your image all the way down to the corner of your canvas, you can just pull them. And I'm just using the arrows on my remote. And then to switch corners, I'm pushing the OK button. So it's super easy to use. And this is an example of how you would use manual keystone. But now I'm going to go back. I'm going to turn auto keystone back on. Uh, pointer speed. Um, this is just the cursor, how fast um, it responds to your commands. Um, we have it set up or default as the middle speed, so I don't recommend changing it. Uh, brightness, um, you can turn down or adjust the brightness. So you can do low brightness, recommend doing that when you're using battery, or you can do high brightness, um, recommend doing that when you have the projector plugged in. And then sound effects, um, this is if you're using your projector for um, playing music, things like that. We don't have this configured to support those different settings and configurations, so you don't need to worry about this. So going back to the settings menu, um, you can change the date and time. Uh, you can change up the time format, uh, a few different modifications you can make depending on your preference. Um, and then this is just information about the device. So that's all the settings. Um, again, to get there, you just go to this purple icon in the bottom right corner. And from there, you just pick the category of settings you want to change. Um, and then watch this video back to you know, pick up on anything you might have missed. And that's settings. If you want to connect your computer or mobile device to the projector using an HDMI connection, it's super easy to do so. Um, we provide you an HDMI cable, and all you would do is plug in the HDMI cable into the back of the projector, like this one right here. Plug that in. You would plug the other end into your computer. You can ignore this message. Um, and then you would select HDMI. Now I don't have uh, the HDMI plugged into a computer, but if I did, essentially the projector screen would take over what's on your screen uh, of the computer or your mobile device. So it's essentially going to mirror what is on your computer. So super easy way to share uh, video or pictures from your computer using a cable.